The Bible says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled. And they took knowledge of them, that they had been with Jesus. Christians today want boldness. That ability to overcome your fears and hesitations, to be that witness for Jesus Christ, you know you've been left here to be. When the world and the flesh and the devil seem to oppose you, boldness makes you stand out like a lion. The Bible says the righteous are bold as a lion. A lion is not timid or bashful about his presence in the jungle. You and I are not supposed to be hesitant or cowardly when it comes to the faith of Christ and it comes to the truths of God's word. But how do we get that boldness? Where does it come from? First, boldness is not brashness, arrogance, rudeness. That is not boldness. Boldness is a quiet and holy confidence in the face of opposition. Boldness does not make you arrogant. Boldness does not make you rude. Boldness does not necessarily even make you loud. Boldness is something they perceived here in the men's countenance and the way they carried themselves. And that boldness was not manufactured up. That boldness came from being with Jesus. The more time you spend with Jesus Christ, the more boldness the world will see in you by default. You won't have to manufacture it. You won't have to summon it. It'll just be there. It's like spending time with a loved one. Nobody has to convince you that your wife or your spouse or your children exist because you've spent time with them and it shows in your walk. And if you walk with Jesus Christ, the world will see the boldness because you're speaking of something real, a relationship that's true, a God that is very present in your life. So if you desire boldness, spend more time with the Son that others may see your relationship with him.